Hi guys, this is Shivang here and today I'm going to explain the structure and function of pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is, a, is an endocrine gland that is slightly pinkish in color and this pea-sized gland is about uh, 1.3 centimeter in diameter and its weight is only 0.5 gram in humans. This pituitary gland is attached to the hypothalamus of the brain via a stalk called pituitary stalk or uh, you can say it's another name is infundibulum. So this pituitary gland is connected to the hypothalamus via a stalk called infundibulum. Hypothalamus is a portion of a brain that has uh, that has many various functions. One of its most important function is uh, is to link the central nervous system with the endocrine system of the body. So coming back to the pituitary gland. So the pituitary gland is uh, is a complex organ of the human body, which uh, which is the source of chemicals uh, that play a key role in many functions. This pituitary gland is uh, divided into two separate lobes that is anterior lobe and the posterior lobe. The anterior lobe of the pituitary gland is connected to the hypothalamus by portal blood vessels only a few millimeters long. Through these vessels pass a group of regulating hormones which are produced in the hypothalamus. These releasing or inhibiting hormones regulate and coordinate the anterior lobe of the pituitary to initiate the production or suppression of specific hormones. Whereas the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland is smaller than the anterior lobe and it stores only two hormones that are secreted by hypothalamic neurons. These neurons are called hypothalamic neurons because uh, they are the because it connects the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland to the hypothalamus directly via infundibulum and these neurons produces hormones that are released from posterior pituitary gland remember the posterior pituitary gland stores hormones and do not secrete any hormones or do not any produce hormones it just store hormones that are produced by the neurons from the hypothalamus and the posterior pituitary is smaller than the anterior pituitary. So now let's talk about the functions of the pituitary gland. First is anterior pituitary gland. The anterior pituitary gland uh, secretes eight type of hormones and uh, the first hormone is human growth hormone as you can see. Uh, the human growth hormone stimulates the growth of the body cells especially of bones of limbs and it also stimulates the protein synthesis and inhibits protein breakdown also it carry out hydrolysis of fats and retards the use of blood glucose for ATP production next the second hormone is thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH this th thyroid stimulating hormone targets the thyroid gland of the human body that is located in the neck region and uh, this thyroid stimulating hormones controls the secretion of the thyroid hormones or the hormones that are secreted by the thyroid gland um, uh, mainly the thyroxine hormone third hormone is adrenocorticotrophic hormone or ACTH this adrenocorticotrophic hormone targets the adrenal cortex region of the adrenal glands that are located uh, just above the kidneys. This hormone controls the secretion of the adrenal cortex regions of the adrenal glands, uh, basically the secretion of adrenaline hormone. Fourth is melanocyte stimulating hormone or MSH. It targets the melanocytes in the present in the skin of a human body and it stimulates the cutaneous pigmentation 
by dispersion of melanin granules in the skin. Fifth hormone is prolactin hormone. Prolactin is a unique among the pituitary hormones as it is under predominant inhibitory control from hypothalamus. So this prolactin hormone stimulates the milk production in the mammary glands of the females and also participates in the control of reproduction, osmoregulation, growth and metabolism of the human body. So now the sixth hormone is follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. This follicle stimulating hormone stimulates the process of spermatogenesis that is the production of sperms in males and uh, the growth of ovarian follicles or you can say the process of ovulation. The seventh hormone is interstitial cell stimulating hormone or ICSH. This interstitial cell stimulating hormone secretes the controls the secretion of the testosterone hormone in males. Its target uh, organ is testes in the males and uh, testes produce testosterone hormone and this ICSH interstitial cell stimulating hormone controls the secretion of this testosterone hormone in males. So and the last hormone produced by anterior pituitary gland is luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormones is uh, associated with the follicle stimulating hormone and it triggers the process of ovulation with the FSH follicle stimulating hormone and it also stimulates the conversion of ovarian follicles into corpus luteum in females. So that's all about the anterior uh, functions of the anterior pituitary gland. Now let's talk about the functions of posterior pituitary gland. As I've said earlier, this posterior pituitary gland does not secrete or produ produce any type of hormones, but it stores the two types of hormones that are produced by hypothalamic neurons of the hypothalamus. The first hormone is oxytocin. This oxytocin uh, stimulates the contraction of uterine muscles during the birth and initiates the ejection of milk from the mammary glands of the female. And the second is antidiuretic hormone or it's another name is also uh, vasopressin. It's, it is also called vasopressin and it stimulates the reabsorption of water and from the digestive system and, redu and reduce the urine secretion and it stimulates the constriction of blood vessels and thus increases the blood pressure of the human body. So that's all about the structure and function of pituitary gland of the human body. Thank you guys for watching the video. Have a nice day.